Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know that I've been gone for a while. I've been sick, school caught up with me and stuff, but uh, I am back here showing off some drag loon strategy. And uh, we're gonna take a look at two different attacks, one using the double lightning quake, and then one using some raging haste spells. So here I'm gonna funnel using the baby dragon. Uh, I'm gonna get really good value off of um, him down at the bottom and I'm going to send in my heroes my barbarian king and my archer queen to take out that northern air defense I'm going to use some wizards for funneling and then I will send um, my dragons in at that third air defense so right away I already have three air defenses down which is a huge advantage against a town hall nine especially when you're using dragons or any air attack for that matter but here the only thing he really has left endangering me would be the air defense and then the archer towers. So I placed all my dragons around making sure that they'll funnel correctly and go into the center. And then I send down um, some targeted balloons at specific defenses. So I've got two balloons coming in the top that will kind of hopefully get that air sweeper. And then I've got um, balloons kind of coming in behind the dragons as the dragons tank for them. And then I bring some max balloons out of my clan castle targeting that cannon up there so that way the balloons will hopefully go behind the dragons and take down that Tesla farm, the wizard tower down at the bottom. So there was a lava hound in the clan castle that's no problem for dragons. Dragons are pretty much um, OP against any troop that comes out of the clan castle. Um, you just so you don't need a poison spell. Uh, you can save that for a haste or um, a quake spell. In this case, is what I use. So you can see here, only two wizard towers left. They're not going to do well. One wizard tower left. It's not going to do anything to dragons. Splash defenses rarely um, deal a lot of damage to dragons. And uh, there we go, three stars. Easy as that. So here we go, we've got Sammy, clan mate of mine, taking on the Slater from 100% Adults. And uh, here you can see he's using Rage, Heal, and Haste with Dragons and Loons. Um, and he's gonna use his heroes here to, um, we call these suicide heroes, to basically um, take out at least one air defense if not two um, here because they're clumped up so it'll be pretty easy for um, the dragons to get the other two from the other side I can't remember whether or not he has a lava hound in the clan castle but regardless whether or not you bring a lava hound or balloons those will help target the, um, the, the defenses and if it's a lava hound you want it to tank so there he uses a wall breaker and his archer queen to take out um, Two air defenses there and now you can see the dragons have pretty obvious pathing so they'll just kind of sweep across the base um, the two things to look uh, for in this attack is where the air sweepers pointing and um, where's the king where's the queen rather in relation to the air defenses and stuff because you don't want the dragons getting distracted by heroes or clan castle troops while air defenses are firing in on them Expos won't do a whole lot of damage. Wizard Towers won't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but just for safe measure, he brings a heal spell here. And he's got a, um, as soon as that air defense is in range of those dragons, he puts down a clan castle lava hound, which will hopefully tank for the rest. And then a haste spell in behind, the haste of those balloons over to that last air defense. So now, once that last air defense is taken out, He's got several dragons left on the board and uh, with only a couple of archer towers and a wizard tower left over. Doesn't even need the rage spell but uses it anyways to speed up the cleanup process. And uh, this raid is basically over. Dragons right now are a very, very, very popular strategy, um, especially against bases with clumped up air defenses. 
air defenses. You know, um, if the air defenses, if there's two or three close enough to one another that a quake spell can be used, then maybe a quake double lightning. But here, when there's two groups of air defenses on two separate sides of the bases, suicide heroes and then using some rage and uh, heal and haste spells is probably the best option. So here you see he's got all four of his air defenses kind of spread about, but they're near enough the outside that I can take advantage of that by um, using my Barbarian King and Wizards to take out one and then my Archer Queen to take out um, a second one and then a Zap Quake to take out the other two. So if I recall correctly all four air defenses will be taken out so that way the dragons won't have to deal with a single one. So here I've got to be really careful and make sure that the wizards will target that air defense and they do nicely and so they'll take out that southern air defense so now I've taken down three air defenses and I'm gonna start sending in the dragons because that's the other thing with attack with any attack um, you've got to manage your time so with dragons moving really slow even though they do a lot of damage um, these attacks are typically longer and you can run into, oh my gosh, there's a builder's hut in the corner, and you run out of time and you lose the raid. So here the Archer Queen's nicely distracted on one dragon, a group of dragons takes her out, and now I've got a baby dragon up in the north, helping to funnel um, to make sure that um, I, my Archer Queen will walk the direction that I want her to walk. So you can see here, this is back um, a while ago when we faced a uh, north faction I did a recap of that war so be sure to check that out if you already haven't those guys up there are um, are really good and uh, as you can see here even though I've taken out all four air defenses and I have a group of balloons there are still four wizard towers down at the bottom and those are gonna spell some trouble for my balloons. If I had to do this raid again, I would have taken out the top two air defenses um, with Zapquake, sent my heroes in from the south, and then sent the dragons um, in from the eastern portion of this base. But um, it doesn't end up mattering in this raid, even though both of my dragons died because they're on such low health. Then a Seeking Earmite, just when I thought my dragon was safe, a Seeking Earmite comes and takes him out and look at the health on those balloons. They are basically good as dead, but um, not dead enough. And uh, they take out the cannon and the Archer Queen and the balloons. The Archer Queen with a sliver of health takes out the rest. So I barely escaped with a three star there. And that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Be sure to check out um, the description for the links to my Twitter and um, to see what clans I'm in. And uh, be sure to watch uh, my last video and um, so check out some of my other videos on Town Hall 9 War Strategy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.